Hey, Sound Engraver here. Uh, welcome to the second installment of structuring this piece. I'm going to tackle the midsection now, and I think I'm going to start with harmony. And so without further ado, we're going straight into our harmonic section. Okay, so as I was hearing this harmonic sequence, I got the impression that it could be one of two things, or possibly both. Uh, the first thing was that the sequence had a, a sense of buildup, particularly with that uh, last chord, second to the last chord in there. And I also got the impression that it could be the harmonic structure, that basis for a chorus. So uh, leading into that first verse into a chorus. Now when I when I say verse and chorus, uh, I don't intend on making this a song with vocals. Uh, I'm primarily instrumental electronic music, but you know vocals may be in the future. So I'm just kind of thinking of it in terms of structure. We have an uh, intro and we have um, a, a bit of a build up into the first verse uh, followed by a chorus. So I believe uh, this sequence here is a buildup and it can also act as a chorus. And I have in mind to put the chorus about here. So with this we have to find um, a different bit of harmony uh, in between here bars 33 and 49 through 49 respectively. So let's go ahead and copy this and uh, command R has you uh, repeat that highlighted section provided that you're on the right track. And I'm going to uh, repeat again because this is the harmony I'm looking for for this chorus if you will. So we will spend our time with these bars here. So let's take a listen once more with just this harmony. So again, that's that build up. Uh, now I want to approach it with some uh, four part writing, if you will, that, that four part harmony you may have learned in uh, music theory in college if you're a music major, except with this we're going to be using six to seven uh, members of a, of a chord. So I like the tonic. This is our C minor feel. And I hear it going to G sharp territory. So in this case, probably G sharp minor, which acts as a minor five to this uh, key. I might keep that F sharp. and put this E to D sharp. Oh, now it's now it's sounding a bit more B minor. So I, I, uh, B, uh, I think a B chord. Yeah, kind of a, a dominant or secondary dominant of some sort. Uh, so let me hear that again. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing G sharp minor. So so you know what I'm hearing in my head, Here's, here it is on the keyboard. So that is our G sharp minor. So here's our B, D sharp. That's nice with that uh, seventh suspension. Uh, 
I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to double the seventh. So let's bring it down to. Well, actually, no, let's bring it up. All right, let's hear that. That's really good. I like that G sharp minor with the seventh. However, I would have to add a little bit more momentum to those chords, maybe uh, cutting it in half and, and working there. You know what? I think I will do that. I think I know where I'm going to put this. So let's keep our G sharp minor. Oh, so. Let's mute this. So uh, I'm on a different keyboard, so I don't know my Mac shortcuts right now, but it's something M. I think it's option M, I'm not sure. Uh, so here we have that. Oh, I left, I left the C sharp. That's why, that's why it has that sound. I, I do like that chord. It's very nice, but I don't think that is where I need to have it. That's what I'm looking for. So putting it in context. Okay, now I'm hearing some sus sus suspension. Uh, perhaps uh, maybe a, I think it's a five. Oh, I'm not sure what the suspension is as far as the progression, but I hear part of G sharp going to F sharp in this. There we go. Let's try that. Ooh, I know where I'm going with this. There is a G sharp here. I'm going to roll it back. For now, it's, it's not quite even, but I will fix that in the future. Uh, now, now I'm going to go from this strong G sharp minor with the F sharp suspension, which is the seventh of G sharp minor. Uh, and I'm gonna make it a nice F sharp minor, so let's find this. Maybe a second inversion with the C sharp on the bottom. I'm gonna bring the velocity down here. See how that sounds.
Oh, that's a real heavy uh, dominant chord there. Um, bring down the velocity just a little bit. Oh, okay. Maybe. So let's hear it in context. <laughs> that is a dominant. Uh, I believe that is a dominant of, well, it's B, so dominative three I'm not getting my theory correct right now but that's okay uh, but what I do hear that makes it so dominant is this nice juicy a that's not an a that's an a uh, let's get let's let's mute it That's a little better. It's not quite as clean or smooth as I would like, but we will work from that. All right, so. There we go. All right, I'm on a different computer keyboard, so my shortcuts are not lining up. <laughs> uh, all right, we've got that. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete these two. Actually, this is the same, so I'm just going to delete this. And I'm going to unmute this. And let's, let's see how this sounds. Uh, in, uh, in this, uh, at the start, at 41 first. I'm really hearing this chord at the start here, but I'm going to revise that eventually. It's subject to change, always subject to change. Um, but I do hear this, uh, I hear that F sharp minor chord. Possibly that B chord. Maybe, maybe with a C sharp minor suspension. Actually, that might be nice because I might fall on the C. I, I actually will fall on that C sharp minor tonic. Uh, so I may just keep it there. Maybe lighten up on the velocity or volume there. Hmm. Maybe. for now. Yeah. 
yeah, so, something like that. Again, uh, I would like to tweak it just a little bit. Something like that. Um, and then I think I wanted to, I think this is C sharp. And then All right. That's a lot of suspension going down. Hmm. I might be doing some parallel motion that is not advised among the music theory professors at the universities. Um, but for now, let's just, uh, it's all about tension. It's all about rhetoric and tension and narrative. And so if it sounds good, it is good. So I'm thinking of doing a parallel motion, a bit of parallel motion for a suspension, and I don't think it's going to work, um, but we're going to try it. All right, so not quite what I want, but the momentum is there, the movement, that, that harmonic movement is there. Uh, let's hear it uh, in context. All right, now I, I do want to change the, 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 the last two chords. Uh, but before I do that, it, it, it was a little smooth, but let's, uh, we're gonna mute this again. Well, I will just keep that for now. Um, so this is our F sharp minor and our a major, A, C sharp, E, Ooh, maybe with that suspension is nice. Mm.
it's better. So I think it is subject to change. I won't make this video so long, but you can see the process that I, I just keep tweaking and just keep shifting voice after voice and making sure the suspension is right and the, the, the feel and the momentum is right there. Um, so let's uh, once more listen to it in context, uh, beginning with bar 17 and maybe going into 49 to hear it again. So here is from 17. So hearing it in context, I actually feel that these two here, which right there, the, that's the same harmonic sequence. I feel like that's the, the build up getting into something uh, like the first verse of a song. So this would be the first verse of a song and then getting into a chorus, which makes me feel that this, this harmonic sequence right here that I thought would support the chorus, I actually feel that it's a, it's a bit of an interlude uh, with some minor tweaks, you know, to add that uh, suspension and that tension, you know, to, to, to push the narrative forward. Uh, as far as, you know, this harmony here, it's got potential. It's not, it's not quite as smooth as I'd like, but that's, that is part of the process. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix that up. But yes, that is essentially uh, that harmony uh, and, and, and and, and structuring that harmony, that, that is my process. Um, so going forward, we will use what we have for harmony, and then we will work on adding bass and the percussion all in one sitting. So I think I'll stop here before the video gets too long. Um, but as always, thank you for watching and listening and always be on the lookout for some sound experimentation. And just uh, let me know in the in the comments below uh, what your composition process is or, uh, you know, whatever art form you do, uh, if you have a formula or if you are more intuitive or if you just kind of work on the spot. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to uh, uh, see that. I'd like to hear about that. So anyway, thank you always for watching and listening and I will see you next time.